so just a quick video to introduce to you the different options that we've got available within the O300 background suppression sensor range. So you can see I've got three different sensors here set up. Uh, one is the laser beam spot type, the other the pin pot uh, beam spot type, and the other the standard LED pinpoint type. So the O300 GL, the O300 GP, and the O300 GR. So you can see here now what the beam spots actually look like. So I've got this set up currently around the 100 mil distance. So the sensors have a sensing range of 250, 200, and 300 mil. So this range here, as I said, is around 100 mil, and you can see what the beam spots look like. If I now increase that distance you'll see what the beam spots look like as they diffuse and also as i get closer okay so let's now demonstrate the capabilities of the sensors so why would you choose a smaller beam spot over a larger size beam spot? So of course it's product dependent and if you're looking for smaller type targets. So I've set these sensors up to switch at around 100 mil. And you can see the beam spots on my roll here. I'll show you a bit clear on the back cork. Here we go. And you can see the LED outputs all come on. Okay, so let's put three different types of targets underneath the sensor so you can see how it performs. So, as you saw with a large type target, the LEDs come on for all three different types. If I now introduce something smaller in diameter, like this screw head here, or the actual screw body itself. You can see the larger beam spot doesn't quite detect. But if I go to the pinpoint type, it detects. You can see that going on and off there in the middle sensor there. And then of course, the laser type beam spot also detects. Now if I choose something obviously very small, in this case, a needle, the larger diameter beam spot will not detect that type of target. If I then move on to the pinpoint type, again, it struggles. If I now move to the laser type, you can see that the output is coming on and off. So the laser can detect very small targets, the pinpoint type can detect medium sized targets and of course the larger general LED beam spot can detect larger type targets. So the key to detection is always you generally have to break more than half of the beam spot to be able to detect the target that you want. So at the distance that you've got it, so here at 100 mil, you can see the beam spot sizes. And to be able to detect the target you want, you need to have your target at least half as big as the beam spot that you see here. And that's why I showed you when you have the sensor at its maximum range, what the beam spot diffuses out to and then at its closest, closer range, about half the range of the sensor, 100 mil or so, what the beam spots look like. Okay. So just to summarize, we have the O300 GL has a working range of 30 mil to 250 mil. Beam stop but at its smallest is 0.1 mil all the way up to at its most diffused in its range, 2.1 mil. Then we have 
the 0300 GP, which has a working range of 30 mil to 200 mil, and the beam spot goes from at its smallest 2.5 mil all the way up to 17 mil. And then we have finally the standard beam spot 0300 GR, which has a working range of 30 mil to 300 mil, and the beam spot can be anywhere as large as 30 mil and at its smallest 8 mil.